one. Morning everyone, welcome back to the shop. It's the 22nd of the wonderful month of February. And as you can see outside, all the white stuff's gone. We had uh, everything warmed up a little bit, had a lot of rain come through, so all the snow's gone. So I got everything in the little room next to me here, pushed outside, and yes, I gotta go back to starting to spray paint again. Uh, I, I never finished up the uh, the windscreen. Don't don't worry, you guys are gonna be you're gonna you're gonna watch all the pain and agony of that one. All right, so what I did was I I primed. I've got the cowling, two coats of primer on it. I wet sanded the first coat. Have not wet sanded the second one um, because what I'm gonna try today, what I want to do. I made a test board out of some Luan that I had just some scraps sitting around. I threw on three coats and I'm not going to sand it. I'm just going to spray it on top the way it is. Um, I put three coats of the Rust-Oleum primer on there and then it's sitting over there in my uh, in some hot water uh, because when it's cold warm up your paint. If you can put it in some hot water. I filled my little, my little sink up uh, with some hot water and it warmed up and then I'll shake it up and it'll be good to go. Um, so anyway, when we're going to come in, I'm going to hit this with some of the primer first, some of the, uh, hang on. I'll be right back. But I All right, I'm back. What we're doing is I'm going to shoot the Ace Brand Premium. That's the primer. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I will shoot some of this on top of the Rust-Oleum primer. This is the sandable primer that you can use on automotive. Uh, and not just automotive, anything you need to get a really good finish on, you need to wet set it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot this on first and let it set up. And then I'm going to take the tape off and then I'm going to shoot the whole thing with orange. Uh, because you know it's, it's primer down to here. So I'm just going to go ahead and shoot the whole thing orange. I want to see what happens with this primer first, there we go, on top of here, and then I want to see what's going to happen because I know that the orange will sit on top of this primer, the orange and the black. Um, I just want to see um, if the orange and black will just sit on this uh, because the less the less time it's going to take me to paint that cowling, uh, the better because I, I really want to have all the orange done today on that. Um, and then once all this gets taken care of, I'll get back to work on the beast and it's uh sorry about that I'm just looking at something I just see the paint flaking off that thing as time goes on so it's, it's gonna be a fun little plane to constantly do little repairs on I've got a um, a porter field it was a kit built in 1981 by a by a guy I knew you know for many years and and he's unfortunately passed away uh, but I've had that plane for probably I don't know 12 13 years and uh, every year you have to come in and it's the same color as that thing too it's freaking orange but every year you got to come in and where the paint pops off you got to do a little touch up but you know th that plane is you know five years older than this one and uh, you know it sees it sees airtime every year so so anyway let me get this uh, let me get this set up and we'll see what happens and if uh, I'm hoping all good is going to happen with this. Alright, that was quick and painless. So let me just uh, kind of show you real quick. What I did is I sprayed it on there and as of right now it's not lifting, it's sitting on top of there quite nicely. Now the problem that I think I'm, whoa, the problem I think I might have with this is that it is darker. This is closer to the color silver that I had um, uh, for the, the aluminum paste in there. It, it's not this dark. So, and that's the other thing that I'm doing with this is I'm testing to find out how how dark how much darker the orange is going to be um, on top of this. So I'm going to let this set up. This doesn't need much time to set up. Maybe I don't know. I'm probably spraying it now. Uh, but I think I can spray on this stuff. I'll read the instructions, but I think it's about uh, 25 minutes. I can go ahead and shoot on top of it. So I'll let this set up and then uh, uh, let's go out and spray some orange on it. All right, we're back out in the spray area. 
Um, this is all prepped, ready to go. I've got my orange paint, and let's all hope that this will work well. I'm gonna try to shoot it so you guys can see everything, and I don't fog up the lens. All right, here we go. I'm gonna spray it the same way I sprayed the other ones where it's gonna be multiple thin coats. So, let's go ahead. That flowed differently on top of the Rust-Oleum than it did on top of the, uh, you can kind of see it, it, it hit and it flowed out. It, it's possible because it's lighter we're going to find out. We're just going to let that set up uh, for probably about, oh, maybe a minute or two. And then I'll shoot another coat on. Alright, it's been a little over a minute. And it's tacky, but it's not, it's not picking up a fingerprint. Let's go ahead and do it again. I'm hoping this is going to work nicely. Let's change direction. Alright, let's let that sit up for about another minute or so. We'll put one final on it and then we'll see what it looks like. It might need to, we're going to see what happens when this flows out on the third one because it's looking better. But as you can see right now, it's still darker with the, uh, with the different colored background. So that's why I wanted to test and see if the, if the, uh, uh, little, there's a little dot there. Just to, if the, the, what's called the Rust-Oleum. If, if that works fine, I'm not going to spray that on there. Bring it right back. All right, we're feeling pretty good. It's been about two minutes. I can touch it, and if I hold my finger there, I can pick up a little bit of a fingerprint, but it's very, very light. It's just uh, so I think we're good to go on the final. So it's going to be the third spray, and the reason why I'm not laying this down flat is because when I'm spray painting the uh, cowling, the way it's going to be sitting, it's going to be sitting with most of its edges are going to be vertical or at a 45 degree angle. There's very little bit up at the nose of the aircraft. Uh, where the, uh, the prop shaft comes through, it's going to be level or horizontal. So I just wanted it. I'm hoping, the uh, last thing I want to see is a flow. If it starts sagging, or it starts running on the, uh, on the nose. So here we go. And there we go. Let's uh, see. Looks nice. Let me let this set up, and uh, we'll uncover uh, we'll uncover everything. And probably I don't know. I'll bring you guys back in in about an hour because I want this stuff. You can look at my face. Um, so I'll bring you guys back in in about an hour uh, after it sets up, and it's not as light because as this stuff dries, it's going to darken up. Um, but I think as of right now the way it's looking to me it doesn't really matter with that dark gray underneath it so I want to see what it looks like when I match it up to the other orange so I will uh, I'll take the covering here I could probably do it right now um, I'll take the masking off and then uh, um, it, as soon as it's because uh, I pretty much know that this should not be taking off the the primer which it didn't you know it's got really good lines so I'm actually happy right now with the way the uh, rust-oleum is priming it's not lifting so I don't think there's going to be an issue at all with this so I'll uh, I'll bring it back when we do the when we do the color match test so see you in about an hour all right it hasn't been an hour yet it's probably been about a half hour uh, but I can see the difference you can, might be able to see it with the light. You can see where the line is. I'm trying to rotate it. What I want to do is I want to use the light from this LED to flash on the side of the, uh, the fuselage. I'm going to see if I can zoom you in and if we can both get a good look at the, at the orange. Let me get this zoomed in for you guys. And I'm having a hard time here. 
There we go. All right, now I don't know if you can, how well you can see that. This side here is almost, a, it's, it's, it's like a perfect match to the side where this is darker. And it's, I'm trying to get it set up so that you can kind of see it. See if I can bring that up a little bit higher. I don't even know what's going on. Yeah, that's about as good as I can get for you guys. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go with this. All right, I said I was going to bring you guys back in here so you can watch me run around like an idiot spraying paint. And uh, I decided that uh, getting that thing painted and doing it right was a little more important than you guys. So, All right, what I did was I took the first, the very first coat. Um, I, I went around and dusted it as usual. Uh, just to get a base down uh, let that sit for probably about five minutes came out touched it and you can touch it no fingerprints so it was good uh, put the second coat on a little bit heavier um, but it was just a heavier dust coat I mean there was no gloss in it yet uh, so I did that let that sit for about 10 minutes and the same thing you can go ahead and touch it it was a little sticky but there was no fingerprints so then I got uh, uh, the one can that had a little more paint in it this is what I was spraying with because I had two cans and uh, luckily a buddy my Paul stopped in today so he was he was manning the second can if I needed it so he had that one prepped because I needed it I uh, started running around um, ended up doing two laps around it um, got a really good flow out on everything and it was the very last bit I needed more paint I got all but probably about that much it was about four inches I had to so, and the spray tips were different, so we just pulled the spray tip off the one I was using, put that one on the other can, came out and finished it up. So, let's show you guys what we're looking at. It's nice and shiny. No paint lifting. It's kind of amazing. That is the one thing where the spray paint worked exactly the way it was supposed to and it came out beautiful. Wish the rest of the plant came out like that. All right, now what I'm gonna work on next, cause that's gotta sit out there for about two hours now before I even think about moving it. So I'll probably go up, it's, it's after lunchtime, I'll probably go make some lunch. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna come in and fix these. You know, they're looking a little bit ratty, but you know, that's what it is. That's the way it's gonna stay. It's on the bottom of the wing and I, uh, and it's, I can't really do much with this. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to lay down some masking tape just on the outside of it. On this square, on this square, and up in here. I'm going to come in, dust it with that, and then when that sets up, I'm going to come in and hit it with some black. So that's going to be done. Now, my little, my little faux pas I made on this wing, because this wing, it could use a little bit of a spritz with some red down, orange down in here, or I can hit it with a brush. I may just come in and hit it with a brush because once again this is this is the this is a really ratty upside and it's on the bottom of the plane so you know it is what it is but now my my mess up here the way you see the black down inside there when looking at a picture of the real plane and the way the burst goes the burst looks like it's going to come across really close to here it looks like it's pretty close to the, it comes across the center of this and out and then here it comes out to the wing tip. I may just go ahead and scooch this over this little bit so I'd come over another half inch and then just spray these things down inside here. Spray the, both of these black. So then the problem's going to be done because it's just going to be, it's going to be all black up on the top here anyway where the burst comes through. So that's what I'm going to do with that, and that way it's going to be hopefully a relatively quick fix on this. Um, now with the wings that are upstairs, I do have on that one, I've got the two spots where they had a little bit of the paint lift off. I'm going to fix that the same way. I'm just going to take care of those two and try not to touch any of these other ones with some tape if possible. It's going to be difficult, but I'm going to try to do it. If possible, I'm not going to touch it. So I'm just going to have to do a mad... Uh, a, a mad job taping and hopefully everything will be fine so it's just going to be a matter of fixing these two and call it done so this is what I'm going to try to get finished up today try to finish this up and then possibly go upstairs get the the one wing with the bad two checkerboards on it the squares and then uh, get that done and then after that it's just a matter of 
painting the bursts and uh, that's almost something where I'm going to need to and I'll probably wait because I'm going to have to get the plane um, set up outside just so I can get some good indicator points on where I want them to start and where I want it to end because I don't have room in the shop as well as you guys well know hang on there we go um, I, I can't do it inside a shop anywhere so it's gonna have to be outside so uh, I can wait on that till uh, to spray the wings I can do the rest of the plane with the burst it's just the wings so that could end up being the last thing that ends up you know tentatively being done with the spray it's just that so anyway all right let's let this set up um, I'm gonna go ahead go run upstairs uh, take care of business and then uh, I'll come on down and then uh, we'll get the other stuff uh, hopefully sprayed with no issues all right I foolishly left that battery on for about oh, heck oh, 45 minutes and it died so anyway well, I thought that I was recording you guys. I wasn't. Never had before. Promise. Alright, here's what I did. These two have been resprayed. If I can get the. There you can see. You can see we're busted through. So these two have been resprayed and they came out real nice. I've got to fix this little one up here. And that's about it. I think we're going to call it done. I came in here with some orange paint and just came across, just brushed that little spot where it kind of it, it shot out from underneath the tape. So like I said, I'm not worried about this right now. So I'm going to come out. I'm going to come in, tape this. Just do a quick little spray. If I really wanted to, I could probably even come in and brush it. Um, but I'll probably get this all prepped just for this little teeny area right here. So I'll do that, and then this is done. Then I'll just, uh, I guess from this point, uh, go upstairs and, uh, sorry about that, go upstairs and grab the wing. Come on down. And get that done so at least the uh, the checkerboards will be hopefully done so let me get everything moved around uh, and I'll uh, I'll redo the whole taping and everything just so you can see what I'm doing so that you can see it this time and not me talking to uh, a camera with a dead battery so I'll bring it right back got all okay all right forgot all about you guys again all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and repaint these two squares. So I did the old, same old, same old, take the tape, put it up against your t-shirt to take some of the stickiness out of it. What I did on this was I folded over the end of each one so I'm not taking the tape from the edge off this way. I'm going from inside the square out with less chance of picking up an edge and peeling it in. That's how these came off. It didn't come off halfway across it came off when you started pulling it in so that's done now it's just gonna be a matter of just taking a whole bunch of masking paper and just start masking the whole darn thing off so this is going to take a little bit so um, I'll give you some music if you want to watch
Yes, it is a lot of work for those two little two and a half inch squares. What I started doing too, whenever I put down a piece of masking tape, I put down another piece right pretty much right over the top of it with just a little teeny gap with just a little teeny bit overhanging I think it's got to do with some of the volatiles some of the some of the stuff that's in these things because they're so aggressive the chemicals that I think it's actually going through the tape because I know that this stuff if you get it down not so much with the with the primer with the paint if I got it down on the top of a piece of this masking paper over something that's not completely dry it'll start to soften that paint underneath it. And I think that was possibly the whole issue was how I had a lot of stuff taped. Now that you saw how well everything works with the primer, you know, hindsight 2020, uh, I, I should have just primed the whole airplane before I started painting the orange. And then in theory, all, all that problems would be gone. In theory, theory only. Okay, I'll let that set up for uh, about five minutes. Be right back. All right, it didn't even take five minutes. Yeah, it took a couple. It's dry. I mean, dry, dry. Let's go ahead and get the black on and couple wings done, except for the top. And it's just burst time, but everything happened today. Dev off. Hope for the best. Okay, now comes the fun part. I should not be having an issue here. Okay, here we go, here comes the fun part. Don't lift. Get his gold on this section. We're not done yet. see how I'm doing this it's coming off get this started and I'll stop here these are the crusty ones 
These ones here are the ones that are crackled. I've got a piece, a little piece that broke out of that. Middle of that one, I'll just put some. Uh, there we go. I'll just put some black paint on a. Uh, I get my little little painting brush, and I can put a dab in there. All right. One more to go. All right, we're good. We lifted nothing. Okay. Checkerboard repair is done. Let's let this one sit. We'll let the uh, let the paint firm up so I can move it, and then uh, take it back upstairs. So, all right. I'm learning very valuable lessons with this and it's but anyway hopefully you guys are learning too so let me get uh, I gotta figure out what I want to work on next I know I gotta get the, the plane in here I just gotta figure out on the fuselage I just gotta figure out what I want to work with let me think about it um, but at least at least this is done the ailerons are done um, yeah, so at least the problems are, are finally getting fixed, so it makes me happy.